Sports 107.7, the end. Seattle, get ready for a new radio station that will change your lives. So the end is more than a new cutting-edge radio station. It's a way of creative life for the 90s. Marco Collins is an American original. When you thought of the end, you thought of Marco. And you didn't think of Marco Collins, you just thought of one word. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a DJ. You know, I mean, you gotta respect that. His passion was fucking exuberant. I am a dragonfly! We have a lot in common. <laughs> Musically. And we were mad men, too. Oh, boy. I might have been one of the few people who knew that he was gay. I honestly think Courtney Love told me. Would I have been accepted by the Nirvana crew if I wasn't gay? Yeah, I don't know. Bands that come to mind, Marco broke. Weezer, forget about it. Beck's loser. Death Cab for Cutie. President of the United States. He was the on-off switch for your potential career. Hey, this is Eddie. And you're listening to Marco Collins, the first person ever to play My Little Voice on the radio. He was early on this electronic music thing. The Prodigy. They owe their careers to Marco. That whole thing just really cracked open the door for, you know, the future of electronic music in America. He was a celebrity. He was a name brand, just like the bands. We achieve these certain levels, some dreams come true, and pretty soon it all catches up with you. Marco had a massive addiction problem. It's heartbreaking. He knows that. You know, my kids love him. Marco has many addictions, and his addiction to music really is his life. There's so much more to Marco still that he still has to discover inside. There's never been another Marco Collins, and there won't be again. That journey is such a great journey to see and to hear and to watch. Nobody knows how the movie's gonna end, right? <laughs> it kind of is a mystery.